Hello everybody, welcome back to another Monday tie video. I got a new knot coming at you today. This one's called the Four Rings Knot. Now if you, you know, look at other videos, uh, with this one, I just like how it's a little bit looser. I tied it a little, you know, looser. Some other videos tie it so it's tight. I like the, my version better. Just gives the knot a little extra something. But anyways, let me just show you something else quick. Look at the bigger end. It's like halfway down my dress shirt. So if you want to tie this, you're going to have to wear it with a vest or like a, a cardigan that goes up, you know, some way to just block off the uh, the bigger end because like I said, it doesn't come down all the way. But anyways, we'll be tying that knot today. Just let me take this down and we'll get started. All right, with this knot, I would choose a solid color tie because, you know, it looks the best. But anyways, I got this, the bigger end on my left shoulder, smaller end on my right. Bigger end length is just at, just at my belly button. So to start, I'm just going to reach up the bigger end, pinch off, and bring that into the center. I'm going to take the smaller end, cross over, and go up my neck hole, bringing it the smaller end down to my right side. Now this is when the, you know, with the steps, you want to keep it loose. With the smaller end now, I'm just going to bring it underneath and I'm just going to loosen that up a little bit because I'm going to take the smaller end now and go through that loop. Again, keeping it all loose. Smaller end now, I'm going to almost, I'm going to twist it so the seam side is now facing out and I'm going to take it and go through that loop. And I'm just going to tighten it a bit. Oh, I still want to keep my, the looseness, you know, with that look, but just a bit. Taking the smaller end now, I'm going to go down the neck hole. And to finish, there should be a little loop in the back from the previous step. I'm going to take the smaller end and go down that loop. There we go. First, pop down the collar, and then I can go back and loosen up the rings or tighten them. Like I said, depending on what you want to do, I like to leave them a little loose. Until I get, you know, something I like. But anyways, that was the four rings knot. Again, if you're going to tie this, you need a vest or a cardigan. Something that can block the bigger end because the bigger end doesn't go all the way down to your belt line. But anyways, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time.